Hey everybody, uh, Fred Mertz here, and this calculus lesson is on the area between two curves. Okay, we've done all kinds of integrating, and we're gonna we're gonna combine this uh, with a couple of curves. So recall um, the integral of uh, a to b uh, of f of x is the area under the curve of f of x from x equal a to b, uh, bounded by that's what this means bounded by uh, the x-axis. Okay, so that's all that is right there. Well. We're going to expand this uh, to the area between two curves, f of x and g of x, between x equal a and x equal b. So you might get a picture that looks like this or like this, depending on where g of x is. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to do the top curve minus the bottom curve, in this case right here. Okay, So you see the picture, I, I put it up on top here. So here it is, uh, the top curve minus the bottom curve. Okay, And this is when you have y equals x equations and x limits. Sometimes they'll give you uh, x equals y equations and y limits, and when it's that, then you do uh, the right curve minus the left curve right there. Okay, and I have an example of that in this lesson also. All right, so let's go ahead and get begin. Let's try some of these. This, and it's the basic integration. That's what we're doing. We're just combining two different uh, curves here. So uh, find the area of the region bounded by y equals 6 minus x squared and y equals uh, 3 minus 2x. Okay, this is a, a quadratic, a parabola up here at 6, and it's going down. Okay, and this is just a linear equation with the y-intercept at 3, and it's going down 2 to the right one. Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, so the, the area of the region that's bounded between these two curves. So it's these two. It's this little area right here, this region right here. Okay, top minus bottom. So it's going to be the blue guy minus the red guy which is going to be the parabola minus the line right there for top minus bottom. And we need to figure out what is this x value and what is this uh, x value right here. So what you're going to do uh, is you're going to solve uh, both of those, uh, solve uh, um, uh, set them equal to each other and solve for x to figure out where they where they equal with x right there. So I get um, x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. Okay, we don't need the y coordinates because we're integrating with f of x. Okay, so it's going to be the blue guy minus the red guy, always top minus bottom when it's in terms of y equals something x equations. Okay, and these are both y equals x equations right here. So I don't need the y's, I just need to know the x limits from negative 1 to 3, top minus bottom. Okay, so there it is, negative 1 minus 3, I'm sorry, negative 1 to 3, and then this is the top equation, and this is the bottom equation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative through, and, uh, and then clean it up, and then integrate. And there you go, and um, and so I'm just saving some time right there, so you should get uh, 32 thirds right there, okay? So when I integrate this, okay? And that's that's the brand new stuff of this stuff. So we're doing top minus bottom, okay? Later on we're going to be rotating them around, but okay, here's one. Find the area of the region bounded by this line right here, this cubic right here, and this line right here, okay? I'm going to put them in all in y equals forms, you guys. So I did that right there. And then, so here's uh, y equals x plus 6, this, this purple line right here. Here's y equals x cubed. It's this cubic equation that goes and does this sort of little hooky sort of, I don't know, S-y kind of thing. I don't know what that is right there, what you'd call that. And then here's uh, the linear equation, y equals negative 1 half x. Okay, so <clears throat> the only problem is... Over here, top minus bottom is the blue line, I'm sorry, the purple line minus the blue line. But over here, it's the purple line minus the red curve right there. So it splits on top minus bottom right down there. You guys with me? So I got to split it up, you guys. So, um, whoops, let me go back here. And so what I did was, is uh, uh, I found out where these x uh, places were right there. So figure out this x right here. I set the purple equation equal to um, uh, the blue equation right here. All right, so you'll see that right there. And to figure out this x right here, I mean, you can almost see it. It's x equals 2, but I'll show you why it's x equal 2 in just a second right here. Okay, so here I set the blue guy equal to the purple guy right here. Here's purple equal to blue. And I got uh, x equals negative 4. So this is at x equals negative 4 right there. And you can see that almost right there, x equals negative 4. But just uh, just for you know uh, safety, uh, I went ahead and solved that. And then um, up here where the red guy equals the purple guy, I let the you know the purple guy equal the red guy, and I get this cubic equation right there. And then I did uh, rational roots theorem, or you can do G solve in your calculator. I'm just going to remind you about rational roots theorem, you guys. Here's this equation right here. The only possible factors are the factors of this number over this number. So factors of six over factors of one are give me all these plus or minus all those. So I tried one and negative one first. And when I tried one, I did remember there's a zero x squared. So there's my one x cubed plus zero x squared minus x minus six. Okay, and then I tried 1, and I did synthetic division. I slid that down, and then times the box right here, and that gives me that. 
add these two guys and then I get one and then again times the box remember this and then uh, that's what goes here and then um, uh, add these two guys whoops that should be a zero right there golly I made a mistake this should be a zero let me change that right there and then so uh, so just I still get it, it it's not uh, it doesn't work for me right there so I still get uh, and this is going to be zero here and it's just going to change things up sorry about this does your math teacher make mistakes my I do all the time you guys I was substituting for another class uh, teacher passed out in class and I substituting for him and uh, and I, I made a mistake and I said uh, does your math teacher make mistakes and the whole class at once said yes and so I, I make them all the time just like that silly one okay let's see if I did this one right slide down times the box number add times the box number add times the box okay I'm good on that one right there all right finally I get a zero when I tried two so one didn't work negative one didn't work so I tried two I'm just trying going through this list right here okay so then and then there's all kinds of fractions also one half one third one you know but I tried the integers okay and and looking at the graph I kinda of figured two was gonna work but to double check and it gets me zero right there so so two is the other guy right there okay so this is x equals two all right and you didn't have to go through that I can see it's x equal to and you, if you have graphing calculators they'll do that for you I'm just I'm showing off my rational roots theorem your algebra 2 skills and pre-calculus skills anyways okay so can you see top minus bottom um, this one's a line this one's a line but on this side it's a line minus this uh, curve right here so my top minus bottom changes at x equals 0 so here I'm gonna go top minus bottom from x equals negative 4 to zero and then here it's going to be from zero to x equals two right here of top minus bottom okay and then the top minus bottoms just change so there it is right there okay so um, and then when I integrate all that so just to save me some time because it takes a long time to build these lessons uh, you should get an answer of 22 after that alrighty uh, at least I think you do so anyways but this is the hard work right here you guys um, uh, the easy stuff is all of this stuff and I'm just saving time right there all right, let's try another one. Let's uh, uh, let's do one here with uh, x equals y equations this time. Okay, so this is a sideways parabola right here. So x equals two um, uh, y squared minus four and x equals y squared. If you're going to do this in your calculator, go ahead and plug them in as y equals. So y equals just flip the variables around and then mentally turn this guy 90 degrees um, uh, clockwise. Okay, and so it's going to look like this. All right, so there it is. Turn. This is my graph right here. This is the graph of these guys right here. Okay, so the region bounded by is all of this stuff right here. So uh, it's going for and 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 it's going to be top minus bottom. I'm sorry, it's not top minus bottom. It's righty minus lefty. And these are y limits, you guys. So we have to find the y values right here. So if I set these equations equal to each other, I get y equals plus or minus 2. So this is y equals uh, plus 2 and y equals negative 2. Okay, whenever you're doing righty minus lefty right here, that's what R stands for and L stands for, right minus left. These have to be Y limits right here. All right, and since these guys are symmetrical, I'm sorry, since it's symmetrical with this X axis right here, I can just double that area right there. And zero is much easier to work with, you guys. I can go from uh, Y equals zero to Y equals two right there and just double it because that'll get me that one. And I'd rather integrate with zero, wouldn't you? It's a lot easier. So uh, that's what I did. I integrated this with... Uh, um, uh, with um, uh, sorry double the sides right there and so here's my right one here's my uh, minus my left one right there and I distributed the negative through that's how come that changed to a plus four right there all right and then it's just uh, elementary after that you guys so so you guys go ahead and continue and get uh, 32 thirds Alrighty, let's see, what else do I have for you there? Oh, I know, I, I didn't do any trig, but if you did do trig, you guys, in your graphing calculator, just make sure that your, your calculator is set up in radians on that, otherwise you won't get the correct answer. And then in the next lesson, I'll show you how to do this on your on your graphing calculators, how to integrate. So your calculators do lots of fantastic, fantastic things. Anyways, uh, if you're in my class, that would be your homework assignment. Take care, you guys.